My name is Hema Dobroy and I am a chef. The thing I know best is cooking, so I try to spread joy through my food. I want not only the taste of food to capture imaginations, but also the sound, the look, the feel and the scent. That's what motivates me to experiment with the food. Now, people expectation for me has reached sky high. Most of the times I don't disappoint, but there are times in my life where even my skills were tested to its limits. Those times when I was asked to cook for internationally traveled connoisseurs of food and styles, celebrities, who are used to the best and the finest. What could one cook for them has indeed been a challenge. That's when I had to dive into my innermost creativity and outdo even my best. It's in these circumstances that I have come out with some of my most celebrated dishes. So let me share my experiences and journeys into some of my most iconic dishes. My dad was in railways, he was a station superintendent. My uncle was a guard. We used to travel, actually every holiday was in Ludhiana. So, Punjab, every city is full of food. Whether it's a dhaba or a restaurant or a household, I think they live to eat. And we are thankful to dad for giving us so many areas to explore. And the cuisines of each place were so different and still the memories come back to me. It was so wonderful. And this is a tribute to a railway child and to his dad. Sometimes I don't believe that all this has happened in my career. Never thought one day I'll be a chef. Probably destiny had something else for me. I could have been a good doctor. Destiny didn't want that, I think. Probably could have been a good army officer. Probably that was not so true. So finally became a chef. Uh, I used to be fond of gardening. I used to be fond of growing my own vegetables. And I used to feel so thrilled when, if I would see a ladyfinger growing or the spring onions were coming up or the potatoes shoots are out. We grew up in Punjab having fresh fruits, fresh juices, fresh vegetables. And here is the Bajaj mixer, which can give you instant fresh juices. And my memories go back to, there was a dhaba outside, uh, on the GT road, outside uh, my uncle's house. Four annas for the tawa meat pulao, or two annas for a dal, topped with a little meat curry, with two chapatis. So that is the memory which I still have. After almost like five decades, or four and a half decades, I brought it back into Taj. Hey guys, you haven't gone for lunch? No, sir. No? 
Okay, I'm giving you some money. Please go and have your lunch. This is one rupee. Sir, what do we get? One rupee. One rupee? Four of you? Four onas each? That's enough? Either you go and have this or you start cooking. And I'll give you the dish, what I had in four onas. Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Abhishek, yeah. I need um, chopped onion, chopped tomatoes, yeah. hmm? chopped ginger, green chilies, and I need the juliennes and chopping both. Hmm? Yes, I'll need the paste, hmm? a mint, chopped mint, chopped coriander. Okay. Hmm? Get me the meat. Yes, hmm? sir. And uh, Neha, you can do the pulao. Hmm? Can I have the chopped onions if they are ready, please? Ginger julienne. You can uh, just uh, give it, wash it up. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, mix up with a little of ginger garlic paste and a little salt. No, Nia, this is the wrong way of doing the pulao. This is a, a totally a wrong way of doing pulao when we drain out the water. Okay. We have to saute the whole garam masala. Okay. Sometimes you can add even ginger juliennes and garlic also okay. and onions. Saute the whole thing, put the rice, strained rice. Okay. Little stir fry it yes. and then add the water okay. in proportion. Let the water dry down because this way we are draining out all the flavors of the rice. Everything is gone. So I think I think redo the whole thing. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. I think God has been very kind. That once if I had tasted the thing, whether it was childhood or in the later stages, I still remembered the taste of the dish. And once if I recreated it, I knew exactly where it was. Now, after this masala is done, we are adding the lamb. The rice is always cooked separately. The meat curry is made separately. Then, on top of the meat curry, it is the cubes of tomatoes, ginger, green chilli, mint, and a little bit of garam masala. That is being put. A portion of the rice is taken and a portion of the meat curry is taken. That is being tossed together, so that the penetration of the meat curry, the extract of the meat goes into the rice and it is tossed. The rice is getting the flavor from the mint, ginger, green chilies and the meat curry. What else do you want? A little bit of pure ghee on top. It's a very healthy pull uh -huh. Healthy means it makes your health. So this pull we we'll let it give a thumb yes. for about five to seven minutes. Then all the aroma of ginger, green chilies, mint, coriander, everything will blend into the rice and the lamb curry. Once your gravy is right, the sauce is right, you're going to get the most beautiful tawa pull -off. smelling and four runners for eating. Mother, me, wife, child, the grandchild. It's always families which bond everybody together. Memories go back to my grandparents or grandmother rather, 
who brought us up in a very different environment. When we were growing and we were with Nani, morning she would ask us, okay, parathas, parathas, we'll make parathas today. So quite a few time on Tuesday when everybody was supposed to be vegetarian, no eggs in the house. And the previous days, malai of the milk, she'd keep it separately. And nobody wanted a malai as a malai. So she will just put some onion, ginger, green chilies, and turmeric, and cook the malai for a little while, and put salt and everything, and give it to us on top of the paradas. That everyone will have it. It's not malai, it's a sabzi. Or 12 years, maybe. I wanted to create uh, this malai ke sabzi when we were creating the masala series of restaurant. I thought, let me bring this back. Vegetables for you, yeah. That's how my grandmother always brought the vegetables. You know, in the olden days, in every household, they will boil the milk, take the malai from top, thick malai would come, they will keep it aside. Next day, either the sabzi was made or it was churned and butter was made. They drank the milk, they had the malai, they had the butter and they lived for 90 plus. But let's have malai ki sabzi and live till 90. My nani was a fantastic cook and uh, all her life she was vegetarian. But nani will cook the meat, chicken curry, everything for us. And without tasting ever, she herself was pure vegetarian. She would cook non-veg for all of us. And salt, chili, everything was just perfect. Add a little cumin seeds. When they're crackling, just add the chopped onion. This is literally a cooking process which doesn't take much of a time. And it is uh, equivalent to actually a scramble egg. Yes, we are adding the malai directly now. Little of turmeric, chili powder, and salt. If you want to loosen up a little bit, you can add the milk. But actually, we, we used to wonder at times, Nani, malai ki sabzi, but there's no sabzi. So she would say, no, 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 that, that means anything made out of malai is malai ki sabzi. You don't have to add vegetables.
پینے والی لسی ہیز بین پاپولر واز آلویز پاپولر بٹ اٹ بیکیم مور پاپولر ان دا لاسٹ فیو ایئرز ان بٹوین پیپل ہیڈ فارگاٹن اباؤٹ اٹ پیپل آلویز تھاٹ لسی اینڈ آن ٹاپ آف دیٹ پیڑے والی رسی کولیسٹرول پروبلی نیکسٹ ڈے دے مائی ناٹ سروائیو سو دیس دا نیو جنریشن بٹ ناؤ دے ہیو سین ہاؤ دوز پیپل ہو ہیڈ لاڈ آف پیڑے والی لسی دے اسٹل سروائیو اینڈ اٹ از ونڈرفل دا ٹیسٹ از سو بیوٹیفل دا فلیورز آر دیئر you are getting the sweet taste of the reduced milk and i think it's unparalleled how can be a meal in punjab complete without lassi and that too a pede wali lassi in amritsar a city which boasts of that lassi Some people have one glass, some people have two glasses. I wonder how they drink two, two, three, three glasses in a day. I could not finish one glass. The city which makes so much of lassi that they have to i was told in one place they make the lassi in a washing machine literally in a washing machine so that they have so such a queue of people to they can't cope up with so what i am showing today is a which can be made in a bajaj fx 1000 for a smooth and better lassi today Can I have one glass, please? It's much smoother. The malai on top. Beautiful malai wali lassi, pede wali lassi. Enjoy it. Fine dining was fading away. people don't want to be stiff they don't want the stiff staff stiff looking stiff service stiff code of dressing they want to be a little more casual but you can refine dining you can do it and you can redefine the same thing that's what we have done in the food indian food can be so good looking which i never thought when we did work restaurant that it can be so good looking on the plate the food talks to you but eventually indian food is all about flavors and taste چارانہ فل پیسہ وصول 